we almost always need to understand which type of message is coming from Telegram to any tab. It can be a normal text message or, for example, photo, video or anything else. In this video, we'll see how to do it with a switch node in any tab. I'm having a bot which is already connected to any tab and I will uh, do the following. First, I go to the any tab workflow. I press test workflow so that it's expecting for the messages. And in Telegram, I'm sending a text message. Hi there. So what is happening? Uh, as you can see, the workflow decided that this was a text message which is coming from Telegram. And then it used this note and sent us a message. This is a text message. If it would be something else, let's say it's a voice, uh, it will send us another Telegram message. Uh, this is audio. The question is how we uh, how we program the switch node so that it understands which type of message is coming from Telegram. So from this previous node, which is a on message trigger. It's not as complicated as it may seem. First routing rule is here. I'm checking if in the incoming message, uh, and this is by the way, the incoming message, if the message uh, has a text field. So here you can see, uh, this is what is coming from, uh, from the previous node, so from Telegram. Telegram sends us an object, and in this object, there is a message field, and within this message field, there is a text field. Hi there, that's the message which we have sent. If it won't be a text message, let's say it's going to be audio, the structure of this message will be something else, and there's going to be no text field. So, uh, coming back uh, to this routing rule for the text message, what is happening here? We are just having an expression, we're checking for the expression if json.message.text is actually true. And how we're doing it? We're doing it in the following way. Uh, we are adding in the beginning of uh, this expression double exclamation mark. So this double exclamation mark, which convert this thing after the exclamation marks to the Boolean, either true or false. This is a normal JavaScript. So we are checking if json.message.text is true. So if it is true, it means if it exists, then this branch uh, in the routing rule will be active. I hope you enjoyed the video. The materials, as always, can be found in our Telegram or school community. I would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.